Wingo. Yeah, Daniel. Listen, make sure Theo's practicing. His free kicks, yeah, yeah, I got you, I got you. You all packed? Yeah, I'm going to rename that suitcase to TARDIS, cos, uh, who packs tea bags? Australia don't have tea. Oh, Listen, mate, lay low. That's the best policy. Yeah, well, uh, don't even get me started on that airport parking. Go on. Oh, no, no, go on. Reminds me of my childhood. Well, no, I'm just saying, it's, it's cheaper, isn't it? Get a sherbet. Watching the Muppets, them old gits. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she called it, mate. She called it. Mitchell Baker, Douglas Fayad, Social Services. We need to talk about Bailey. Uh, use a boozer. Grab the bag, please. After you. What's that on there? I don't know, baby. Oh, Callum. Don't listen to her, whatever she says to you. You what? I'm just asking which bus goes to Bethnal Green. I thought she, thought she was going to... Why do you have to keep doing this? You're embarrassing me. Maybe your big bruv might know. Such a weirdo. It's her. She's twisting things. Oh, what? And you're done? I mean, what could she say that's any worse than what I already know about you? Right, Callum. Callum, did you get my texts? Yeah, I did. Now, stay away from me. Come on, you don't mean that. Yes, I do. You're not welcome round here. What? You don't want me gone. What part of your embarrassment do you not get? Oh, fine. If that's what you want, I'll go. Good. See ya. Oh, Stuart! Just remembered. It's the number eight. It's the number eight bus that goes to Buffalo Green. Yeah. Yeah. Well? I'm sorry, sweetheart. Thank you. How did she do it? I was a mess when Lee was back in trouble. She's been dealing with that her whole life, though, Mick. Still. Guilt never leaves you. Any luck? No. Sorry. Uh, listen, I spoke to Stuart earlier. He's finally leaving Walford. You're joking? I told him I didn't want nothing to do with him, so... Are you OK with that? Yeah. Yeah, I am. Passports, tickets, and money, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Leaving drinks, is it? Not quite. What? Call it a change of heart. <sighs> I knew it was too good to be true. Give that to my love, yeah? Oh, yeah, from me and all. Who's she marrying again? It's Stuart. Oh, no, no, it's, it's all right. We're celebrating too. We'll have one for her. You ain't going to believe what's just happened to Doc. Not in there, you're not. You're barred. Why don't you run back behind the old girl, eh? Yeah. Forgot. Halfway. Make sure you don't come anywhere near my boozer. Yeah. Right, come on, let's go. All right, bye. Summer over there, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be well brown. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Oh. Right, let's have it large. <laughs> Mrs. Brannan has given me this. You? What? And I'm under strict instructions that we're to toast Dr. Leg on her behalf. Unbelievable. Just keep a lid on it, yeah? Keep all round oh, in. You're telling me. Yeah. Last thing Dot would want is attention. Sonia, discretion. <clears throat> so is it the nice bit of golden screen, is it? Yeah, the nice bit. Yeah? How many beds? Four, I think. <laughs> oh, mate, that is silly money. Stuart. Oh, sorry. Uh, Trace, bottle of fizz and whatever you're having. And may I say you're looking particularly beautiful today? <laughs> if a little grumpy. <laughs> Here, do you reckon Mick keeps that expensive stuff? The rapper's drink. We can afford it now, can't we? We? Oui. It's a slip of the tongue. Look, I'm, I'm just really excited for Dot. Callum. Must be bars in ya. Yeah, I, I, I know, but you know, Dot's asked me to raise a glass for Dr. Leg, who died. So if you chuck me out, you're kind of chucking her out. She's in mourning, man. One. And don't let Shirley see her. 